Hello World Foods class. I decided this week to try our slideshow in a different way. Instead of sending you the slideshow and then sending you audio file, I am sending you this video in which I will talk about the slideshow and I'll also send you the slideshow. We just had Easter and I hope you had a good one which makes it maybe appropriate that we did food from Greece last week. And I wasn't even thinking about this at the time, but nobody celebrates Easter quite like the Greeks. They do this parade through their towns on Saturday night, well into the night. And then in the middle of the night, they have this enormous feast. Food is big at Easter. At our house, Easter has usually featured asparagus. Why? Because asparagus is usually becoming available locally about the time of Easter. And I like to do local food whenever it's possible. So this is a good time of year for asparagus. And asparagus got me thinking about Thai food. We're going to Thailand. Here's the flag and a couple of landmarks. So this is in a place in the north of Thailand called Sukhothai. It used to be the capital of Thailand a long time ago. And most of the buildings there are from like the 13th and 14th centuries. And there are like Buddha statues and gardens. And it looks like a fabulous place to visit. Now, of course, the capital of Thailand is Bangkok. And here is one of the landmarks in Bangkok. This is the Temple of Dawn. And what I read is that um, it is coated with this mixture of porcelain and seashells that makes it sort of glow. And it is positioned to catch the first light of dawn. So when light first breaks on the city, it just this temple just kind of glows. Sounds beautiful. Anyway, there's the flag again. Um, Thailand. What should we know about it? Naturally, the language is Thai, and sometimes these things are obvious. The capital in the south is Bangkok. Thailand has a population of about 70 million and most of those people, if they practice a religion anyway, are Buddhists. Not all Buddhists are vegetarian, but a lot of them are. So there's more vegetarianism in Thailand than in a lot of parts of Asia. But there's still a lot of meat eaten too, all kinds of meat and seafood. It's a tropical country. Um, and it's in monsoon country. You probably know about monsoons. So what happens in India and lots of parts of Asia is that there will be a dry season and then the rains come. And they call the rains the monsoons and they are like apocalyptic rains. It, it is just amazing. A lot of people in this part of the world are filled with joy when the monsoons come because the monsoons bring light. It's because of the monsoons and the floodplains in central Thailand that Thailand is often called the rice bowl of Asia. This is where they get their food. In the north, it's more forested and it used to have these beautiful hardwoods like teak, but they have cut down a lot of the forest. Um, tropical forest, but still mountains, forested. Since World War II, Thailand has become an industrialized economy. They do quite a bit of manufacturing. They're particularly strong in automotive parts and electronics and appliances, electric appliances. But they also get a lot of tourism, um, and the service economy is a big part of their sector. The history of Thailand. Um, we go back a thousand years or so 
to when people first moved from China, China up here, into um, the people who are um, ethnically Thai moved from China into here about then. And they had some powerful neighbors, for instance, the Khmer, who lived in what is now Cambodia. But for the most part, Thailand remained independent of their neighbors. Uh, and for a lot of their history, that was because of the mountains protecting them. Later, it was interference from the British, who didn't take over Thailand, I don't think, but they had a strong influence there. At first, um, Thailand was ruled by a group called the Sukhothai, and then in the 1300s, the 14th century, the Ayutthaya group supplanted them and became the rulers of Thailand. Uh, and they had monarchs. Thailand was ruled by absolute monarchy until 1932 when they had a coup, and after that it's been a constitutional monarchy. So those are the main events in the history of this place. Let's talk now about food. I have to confess, as I did in the text here, that um, one impression I had of Thai food is that they use a lot of peanuts and peanut sauce. Hence, the recipe I gave you, spicy peanut sauce. Turns out, as I was reading, that's more of an Americanization of Thai food. Uh, it's in Malaysia where you're more likely uh, to find peanuts and peanut sauce in the traditional cuisine, although I read um, peanut sauce has become popular as a street food in lots of Thai food. Um, but really not an anchor of traditional Thai food. So what things are central? Coconut milk. If you're gonna do curry, you're gonna do Thai soups, you're gonna use coconut milk. Um, fish sauce is considered like the salt of Thai cooking. That's what they season their food with. Thai food is often spicy. They use chilies, particularly the Thai bird, which is a hot chili, approximately as spicy as the serrano or a little more. Um, thai basil, picture here. Oh, and I have the, the chili peppers over here. Um, they use limes, or they use tamarind, which is a little bit like lime, often in paste form. They use something called galangal, which is like ginger, but um, at least one chef I was reading said you shouldn't really use ginger as a substitute for galangal. Unfortunately, that's the best we can often do in American markets. And then um, sticky rice. So those are some um, staples. Foods that you may have heard of. So in 2017, CNN did a poll uh, to find out what people thought were the best foods in the world. And they made a list of 50. Seven out of those 50 were from Thailand. This is popular food. Uh, and among those seven, are masaman turkey, I mean, not turkey, curry, pictured here, and Thai fried rice. So I didn't put a picture of what you're gonna make, partly because you have lots of options. You're basically doing a stir fry, and you're gonna coat that stir fry with a spicy peanut sauce, but you get to decide what's going to be in it. And I hope you have fun. I look forward to seeing the pictures and I wish I could taste it. God be with you. Have a good week.